It was one year ago today that a powerful derecho, a storm packing 100 mile per hour winds, swept across Iowa, blowing over trees, flipping vehicles, causing widespread property damage, and leaving hundreds of thousands without power. This was the scene in one of the hardest hit areas, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. KTIV's Devin Reiners traveled along with members of the 185th Air Refueling Wing, who worked for days to clear debris from critical infrastructure like power lines and roads to help restore electricity and affected areas in Lynn County. Beth Balicki checks in on an Eastern Iowa church one year after the derecho devastated it. You know, I was actually in the building. Associate so we, Pastor uh, Marcus Bratch wrote out the derecho one year ago from the River of Life Church in Northeast Cedar Rapids. I think the roof is coming off the sanctuary. And so we started to then be able to hear it. And what happened is the roof peeled back. Now the drifting insulation and mangled metal are gone. Just pigeons occupy what was the sanctuary. Obviously, there's been some patient waiting to, to kind of hear back from insurance, get all that figured out, start building. Immediately after the storm, the entire church building wasn't safe to enter. For months, the church set up a tent in the parking lot for Sunday worship. By October, the tent services were getting cold. I remember preaching outside and it was like 40 some degrees in the morning. I'm like, I think this is the coldest I've ever preached in. Worship moved to the smaller fellowship hall, but making that temporary space work was an investment because of what the derecho destroyed. Lights, I mean, soundboard, drums. I mean, the drums were thrown, all the chairs, everything that was in there, we lost. The church has raised more than $230,000 in a building campaign. That combined with what insurance covers should allow the rebuilding of the sanctuary to begin next month. Big change, but I feel like we're still the same church that we were. I mean, our mission is to be a, a church family that knows Jesus and makes him known, and I don't think that's changed.